In this video, we're gonna take a look at some addition reactions using electrophilic mechanisms. So we're not gonna get into the mechanisms in this video, but we are just gonna go over the different types of uh, reactions. So if you recall, addition reactions are when we're adding something to a carbon-carbon double bond or triple bond. And so having a double bond or a triple bond means that we have a much more reactive kind of compound. And so these kind of compounds undergo addition reactions. There are four addition reactions that we're gonna look at with uh, alkenes specifically. So let's just kind of jump right in and go through the specifics because they are all kind of the same. Starting with the first one, we're gonna have an addition with either a halogen. So either bromine or chlorine although we could have other halogens here as well. Now what's gonna happen in this particular reaction is that one of the bromines is going to add to one side of the double bond and the other bromine, I'll put in red, is going to add to the other side of the double bond. When this happens, the double bond breaks and so what we're gonna create is a single bonded compound now. And if I change the colors and we get all fancy here, we're gonna have one bromine added here and one bromine added here. So we would create a 1,2-dibromoethane from ethene. The same can happen with chlorine or any other halogen. Uh, this has a fancy name, halogenation. Uh, you don't really need to know that. It's uh, just adding a halogen to a double bond or a triple bond. The next, uh, actually no, before we get into the next one, this reaction is a really handy one to have because if you remember with alkanes, they'll react with bromine or chlorine, but they require UV or heat as a catalyst. Alkenes, on the other hand, are more reactive, so no catalyst is required. And so the reason why I'm bringing this up is because if you react both of them with bromine, bromine is like a reddish kind of brown color. If you react that with alkanes without having a catalyst present, then no reaction happens. Whereas if you react it with alkenes with no catalyst, then it will react, and when it reacts, it goes um, clear or colorless. So it's a way for you to be able to distinguish between an alkane and an alkene or an alkyne. Um, it's a really nice test for the presence of whether you have a double bond or not. Okay, so that's that one. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, we're going to look at the addition of hydrogen across a double bond. So X very similar. Um, so maybe we won't get too fancy with all the colors here, but one of the hydrogens will add to one carbon, the other hydrogen will add to the other carbon, and so what we are creating here is an alkane from an alkene. And here we go. So we got one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. This particular reaction requires a platinum catalyst as well as some heat and pressure uh, for the reaction to go. The next two reactions uh, are adding, well, we'll start with this one, HCl or HBr across a double bond. So if we write out our HBr, one of the hydrogens will add to the first carbon and the bromine will add to the second carbon breaking that double-double bond, and so we are going to create a 1-bromoethane. Uh, no catalyst is required here. This reaction goes quite easily. It's also called hydro for the hydrogen and then halogen for the halogen and then acean because, you know, it's chemistry. All right. So that's that reaction. Uh, same thing can happen with HCl. And our last one here, addition with water or hydration um, across the double bond. It's best to think of water as H and OH separately. 
And so if we think of it this way, the hydrogen is going to add to one carbon and the OH will add to the other carbon. And so what we're going to create here is an alcohol. So it's another nice way of going from an alkene to a new functional group where we have um, an OH group or a new class of molecule, which we have an alcohol. So it's really just a nice way to be able to go from an alkene to an alcohol or to be able to uh, go between different sort of classes of molecules. Now the last two molecule, or sorry, the last two reactions that we looked at, we had a case where there could be asymmetrical addition across that double bond because we have two sort of different things that are adding across the double bond. So if more than one product can be formed or is possible, then we have to use something called Markovnikov's rule. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> um, okay, all kidding aside though. Markovnikov's rule, if we want the formal de definition, it says that if more than one product is possible, the more electronegative atom will end up on the carbon atom of the double bond that has fewer hydrogens. So that's very complicated. I kind of like to think of it as the rich get richer. And the uh, richness or the currency here, our currency are hydrogens. And so what's, what that means is that the hydrogen is going to add to the carbon that already has more hydrogens on that double bond. And then the other thing adds to the other carbon. So if we take a look at our first example here, if we look at the two carbons across the double bond, this first carbon has two hydrogens and the second carbon only has one and then it has a methyl group attached to it. So because the first carbon has two hydrogens, the hydrogen will attach to that carbon. And that means the OH is going to attach to the other carbon. So the product we form here is our OH here. And then I'm just going to stress this here so we see the hydrogen adding on the other side. So we would create a propen 2 all and not a propen 1 all. If we look at the next one here, um, alkynes also sort of end up the same way. Um, if let's look at our first carbon here has one hydrogen and then our second carbon has no hydrogens. So what that means, if we just do this reaction step by step, for the first molecule of HBr, the H is going to add to the carbon with already more H's, so the first one there. The bromine will add to the second, so let's put that in here. So we would still have a, whoa, where'd my pen go? We would still have a double bond here with a CH, and then our hydrogens added here, and our bromines added here. Now, if we take a look at the second carbon here, and we look at where another molecule of HBr uh, would add, the first carbon has two hydrogens, the second carbon still has none. So if we add another molecule of HBr, the first, the hydrogen's going to add to the carbon with more hydrogens. So that first carbon, the bromine will add to the second. And then, so this is going to produce a dibromo or a 2,2-dibromo ethane or propane, sorry, propane. There we go. So this is how Markovnikov's rule works, and those are the addition reactions using an electrophilic uh, mechanism. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.